Do I really need an intro at this point? Like, we all know what's going on, man. Let's just get straight to it. We start off where everything ended. Water God Dragon pulls up asking who wants to eat. Kyria wants it, but then her and forehead over dude, here start turning to dust like they got Thanos snapped. And the Water God is like, all right, y'all want the smoke? Natsu was like, hey, we want it if you want it. And he's like, nah, bro, I'm chilling. Natsu and them is like, ah, we chilling too then. And so bro invites them to the crib. I knew bro was chill when I first saw him, bro. He got that nonchalant dreadhead energy bro he just like me so they pull up to the crib and wendy is still in her fish form and water god just snaps it away somehow he says he can undo magic at that level but like how why i don't know man who cares a baddie pulls up and presses water god like why you bring these hoodlums to the crib and he's like chill chill they cool and she's like no humans are cool despite her being a human she really on that zamasu wave right now but then water god starts flexing his minecraft farm layout and i can't lie this garden is so beautiful it got me wanting to go vegan for a second just for a second though and like me gonna always love me he then shows off a hospital and a watchtower so they can be on the lookout for anyone who needs rescue and everyone's like damn this is really not a bad guy w merc phobia that's his name by the way i'm gonna just call him mm no relation to the boys by the way i just don't want to say that name so everyone is like bro you chill i don't sense a bit of evil in you and then bro flexes his aura and is like nah don't get it f up i really used to be on demon time 24 7 killing for fun killing for money really running these streets not even gonna lie to you but my my heart changed once I met a bad bitch. And bro, I really feel that backstory. MM really just like me, not gonna lie. So he then says that his power caused the city to flood and he used his magic to turn humans into fish so that they could survive. And that's also why he could undo Wendy's spell. But his magic is so strong that it'll keep expanding further and further, flooding more and more places. And that's why he thinks he needs to be killed so that he can be stopped. We then cut to the dragon leaders and their leader, I think, I don't know, I could be wrong, tells Kyria not to eat MM because he's an imposter and he don't feel the aura that the dragon god used to have we then cut to blue pegasus we see jalal pull up there and he's like, oh my god Oh gosh. Bob, my beloved. Nah, I'm lying. Jen, I don't know what you've been eating. I don't know what they've been feeding you. I don't know what you've been sipping on, oh, but God. Damn. You look better than ever before right here, man. We take you up out of there, weak ass guild. Bye, Jen. But everyone starts glazing Jalal like, oh, you should join our guild. And Lil <laughs> starts blushing and talking about, can I call you big, bro? Like, nigga, if you don't get your lame ass on, nigga. But Jalal is like, look, you know this girl or not? And they're like, nah. nah and Jalal is like, bet. I'm gonna get out this weird <laughs> deal, but if you see her, don't do nothing, bro. We then cut to see God Jill, Juvia, Panther, Lily, and Levy back stalking Toka. And Levy is like, bro, let's stop stalking this girl. And God Jill's like, Fuck that, this bitch suspicious. And Levy is like, bro, she a part of the family now, drop it. And God Jill's like, when I joined, I wasn't part of the family. And Levy is like, do you not remember hanging me and the boys up like Jesus Christ in the middle of town? And he's like, that shit was nine years ago, let it go. And she's like, Fuck you. And he's like, Fuck you. And Lily is like, should you really be arguing with her? And God Jill's like, I'm the only one who gonna protect Levy around here. And if this Toka girl is dangerous, I'm gonna get her up out of here before she can hurt my girl. And while I don't agree with him arguing with her, W God Jill, man, protect your girl. We then see that Toka pulled up to Natsu and Happy's house. Who gave her their address, bruh? This is a crazy invasion of privacy. And sliding this to the newest member there is, while Natsu is away too? Bro, Fairy Tail needs to tighten up on security because they tweaking right now. Like, why would they even give this to her? They know Natsu is at home. They should have just told her to sit back and around until Natsu comes back because they tweaking with this one. So her king start talking about Natsu hurry back and burn me with your flame. Yeah, her invited to the Diddy party for show. We then see that she lives in the same apartment as Lucy and Juvie and Gajo are trying to see what she up to, but she starts taking all the clothes and they fall. Levy sees them on the ground and gets upset. And as she's walking away, she touches their stomach. If y'all remember at the end of last season, Wendy said, that she heard Levy say pregnant so that might be what's out here so back with the gang MM says his power has been stolen by someone called the white mage and the dragon eaters pull up and say good looks on the info we gonna pull up on them instead meanwhile Jalal talks to Kagra and she says she's seen Toka at fairy tale Jalal says that she could be as dangerous as Zareph himself it says that she's the great witch who lived hundreds of years ago Toka the white mage which this is cool and all but why she want Natsu so bad then. Again, don't tell me. 
So MM attacks the dragon eater, but as she do says you're irrelevant without your power and seals bro up. Urza tells Lucy and Wendy to protect him and Natsu goes in for an attack, but it doesn't work. So Urza comes in with the save and slashes bro, but physical attacks don't work on him. So Gray says, oh, that's all me then. Starts freezing everything around them. Got Skull over here flying Wee? around to weed the attack. Meanwhile, Curia wants the ones with Urza and that leaves Natsu to fight for him. And so the stage is set. Natsu runs in and you can tell bro is on that timing. His initial step off done broke the ground. Bro has been dying for smoke since episode one. He immediately hits bro with a fire dragon sword horn, sends him right outside, but that don't work. So he ramps it up to the max and uses fire dragon king destruction fit. I ain't even think it was that serious, but I guess it is. The only times he used this spell was against a literal god and against Zareph's army. Mind you, against Zareph's army, he took out nearly a thousand people with just a few attacks. This being one of them. So him using this here and it not working by the way? Crazy. Mad Max then throws Natsu on a bow and Natsu is like, damn bro, that's not fair. And how aren't you affected as a dragon slayer? And he's like, oh, you old head dragon slayers got it rough, huh? So we get to see Urza and Kiri and they're going at it. Urza getting pushed back a bit, but she ain't out yet. She goes back in, weaves an attack, gets a quick haircut. Kiria weaves too. Urza blocks another attack, strikes, gives Kiri a haircut, and then backflips out the way from another attack. Attack. She thinking she king bad. But that backflip though. She goes in for a dynamic entry for some reason. Urza, the sword fighter, trying to kick people. I could be wrong, but how many times have we seen Urza kick people? Again, I could be wrong, but like seeing Urza's feet here was like such a shock. Like, have we seen her feet at such a point of view? And I'm not a feet guy, right? So this feet shot really took me aback from the normal fan service that we see. And I know the feet gooners going crazy right now. They just got the Urza scar. Scarlet stepping on you POV. Crazy day for Gooners, man. But Kyria falls back from the kick and Urza jumps in, but Kyria just barely Wee. dodges it. Kyria then says she wants to fight another side of Urza and then slashes away her strength. Like literally, she takes her fighting spirit or something and just slashes it away. How strong is this power, bro? Like she's like, oh, I can slash anything, but can you slash concepts away? Can you slash away planets? Are you universal? Can you beat Goku? But Urza starts being embarrassed that she's in a swimsuit and i'm like how is that related to her fighting spirit she only confident in her body because she's a fighter what sense does that make and i don't know curious starts stepping on urza and wendy goes into dragon force direct now and lucy attacks too putting her into the ground but her um uh, assets stop her from truly being in the ground oh and carla attacks too but who cares so kiria breaks out the ground and then we cut to gray and skull and basically they're going band for band gray makes some ice skull turns into ass and Gray goes demon slayer mode and that doesn't really work either like he even makes a whole arena and skull is just like oh i'm gonna just turn it to ash and gray is like well, i'm gonna turn it back to ice it's just the war of attrition at this point also can i just say i want gray's demon slayer ice to go back to being purple like i could change it and edit here kinda but hopefully this is fixed in the blu-ray i'm probably not gonna watch or buy the blu-ray but for everyone that cares like i do y'all probably notice this too but skull hits this damn hollow purple hakai type move and that's it for now all all the fairy tale is out and this episode ends on Jalal finding Toku. But before you guys leave, looking for some new clothes, figures, uh -huh. accessories, or more? Well then head down to AnimeExpress.store. Bars. With items ranging from jewelry to lamps, swords to phone cases, plushies, and even Pokeballs. Along with Japanese street fashion as well. And some of the highest quality anime merch you could ever want too. Ranging from anime like JJK, Naruto, One Piece, and Dragon Ball. All the way to Haikyuu, Blue Lock, Tokyo Ghoul, and bro. They even got the Death Note. They have so much stuff, I can't even talk about all of it right here. So don't be a bore. Head over to AnimeExpress.store. Use code AKI10 or the top link in the description to save 10% off your every order. So you save some money and I get some. We both win it. Again, that's code AKI10 or the top link in the description to save 10% off your every order. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, please make sure to like, comment, telling me what you might want next. Share this video with your fellow fairy tale fans, man. I'm trying to hit 100K before the end of the year. I know it looks kind of impossible right now, but we could do it. Fairy tale community. Stand up. Make sure you subscribe and until next time, peace. And please make sure to have yourselves a damn good so cool, baby, scandalous. I am showing you what I'm talking about. So cool, baby, watching now. It's a you. Can you handle?